Hello ladies and gents, I'm going to be looking at a uh, problem with the Volkswagen EOS roof today. The problem we have is the flaps in the back, the larger flaps by the uh, rear passenger sides here. They tend to get stuck. Um, I've investigated it a fair bit and I'll talk about that now. Now some of the things you'll probably end up doing if you're trying to fix this is moving the roof up and down into different positions. Now I will just advise you that if you get an error on the screen telling you that the roof's overheated or uh, is not working properly, um, make sure that any of the cables around this area that might have popped off are on and also just wait a few minutes and uh, the roof should, the engine should cool down or the hydraulic pump rather should cool down enough to allow it to operate as normal again. Um, the other thing to note is the roof in the half up, half closed position will probably start to move so don't get your hands fingers or head anywhere where it could come down and uh, crush you basically because that would be uh, bad okay well let's go through the video and see whether we can get it fixed primarily it's only the one on the passenger side that sticks but um i've had a play at both of them and had a little look at the differences as to why they might stick now, as you can see at the moment it's in the open position and I would warn you that if you're going to work on the roof in a semi-open condition it can close back up, okay? Not quickly but it will slowly kind of close up so if you're in here just be aware that things could start to move. This seems to be a good position at the moment, it will just sit there and allow you to have a little look. So when I started investigating this, there was a couple of things I noticed. Now, what I'm going to do is push this over just to show you. Probably wouldn't recommend it because what will happen is there's a wire down here and it'll actually pop off. It's just here on a ball joint. Now, if I close this over, two of the problems we had here was actually the paddle itself was sticking along this edge. So we gave it a real good clean along here, real good clean along there, removed any kind of dirt and gum that's built up in there. And that seemed to help. You'll notice that this cable, if you're messing about down here, this cable's quite likely gonna come off. If it does, it's quite easy to put back on. There's just a little kind of ball joint there and it just pops on the end. So that's not easy to do with one hand. There you go, it just pops back on. So if that comes off, make sure you pop that back on. There's nothing really else around here that will come off. The next thing I did was actually oil all of these hinges down here. There's lots of hinges, lots of parts that move. So I put a good quality PTFE oil in there, which really eased things up. But then after a bit more investigation, I actually noticed the point of snag was this back corner on this fabric here. Um, you'll see it doesn't actually touch it now, but there is wear marks where this sometimes snags on here I'll try and pull it into place and it ends up sat Like that on the fabric now what will sometimes happen and what happens on the other side is after a moment or two It'll actually ping past that like that and that seems to be the issue for the snagging So what causes that well? After watching the roof go up and down a good few times, kind of come to learn how all these various bits of cable and wires and springs all act together and how this should behave. And that's taken me to, there's two bits of cord that I suspect. It's the cord that interacts with the back here. So yeah, this part here. That cord goes up to the top and it seems to be held by a little uh, eye on a piece of elastic. And that piece of elastic seems to be fairly loose. That was the first one I started playing with. But I actually found today the actual culprit is, as you look on this back bar, try and get a better shot of it. So as we look here, there's actually like a little screw and an eye and there's a piece of elastic that goes around the back. It's tucked in behind these cables. And um, that then goes over to the flap here. And what I've actually done is, it's quite simple. I'll go around and show you on the other side. Here's the same bit of elastic on the other side. It goes down. You see, it kind of just goes through this piece of plastic and it has a little metal uh, 
tab on the end there. And what I've actually done is just grabbed hold of that, much easier to add, pulled it through a little bit more and tied another knot in it. So I just shortened that one up a bit. And I suspect it's this short piece of elastic, it's only about 15, 20 centimetres long at the most, has become, um, you know, slack with old age. And also on a hot day, it's probably even more slack because it expands slightly. And that seems to be the issue. As you can see, as we look down here, what I've actually done is just pulled that piece of elastic through and tied a knot in it. And this is really just a temporary fix to uh, do a bit of fault finding and see that that's actually the problem. Some, someone's using a hammer drill. Again, any issues with the flap closing, just make sure that cable is clipped on. It does fall off very easily if you're messing about down here. Uh, it does just pop back in, yeah. So yeah, we can watch that roof go up and down now. So now you can see that flap actually comes past without even catching on that fabric at all. And that was our problem, it was actually snagging on the corner of that fabric. You could visually see it and uh, wasn't passing it. Let's have a little look on the other side, see if that side still snags. Um, no, it doesn't. So. So as mentioned, that was really just a temporary fix. I've just tightened the tension up on that uh, elastic there that goes through there. It simply goes from this piece of fabric on the back that folds and it kind of tucks behind this wiring loom and comes through to a little metal hook here that's screwed on. Now I've heard that the replacement elastics for the roof are quite expensive. I'm going to be very tempted to get a good quality piece of elastic and literally just tie it on there. Maybe do something similar like fold a bit of metal around it just to make sure it doesn't go anywhere. And I can probably use, um, reuse that fitting or I can get a screwdriver in there and pry it open and maybe tuck the piece of elastic in and close that up and tie a knot in it um, but for the moment I'm just going to leave it like that and see if it lasts the summer and if it doesn't well I'll uh, update you with another video